Hi everyone, here is Damien Levy. Welcome to this series of Forex video. Hi, today I will explain to you how to use the envelope pivot point strategy on Forex. I present this strategy for the 15 minute chart. We will use the four elements. So the first is the envelope. The setting for the 15 minute chart is 0 0.10. Can be 0 0.9. You need to adjust again for it to engulf the extreme point. Right here. And already have a nice probability of rejection just because of the envelope. Now let's look at the second indicator. It's a 25 exponential moving average. Apply to close and it's my white line on my chart. The third indicator is another moving average with a period of 13 this time. Exponential apply to close and it's my yellow dotted line on my chart. We will use this specific EMA for your target profit when the market is trending. Third indicator is the pivot point. So the pivot point, since we use a 15 minute chart, we will set the period, time period to H4, based on the 4 hour candlestick. This is the most efficient for the 15 minute chart. And the rest of the setting you let the same. And the last indicator is the hard level with the default setting nice support and resistance indicator also you still have the big lock modified which tells you how many times remain on the active candlestick okay now let's look at how works the strategy first you need to follow the direction of the EMA at this specific time the white EMA as you see is flat so you trade in both direction after that, the EMA become trending, going up. So in this specific case, you will trade only going up. And when it goes down nicely, you do the same, you trade only going down. So in this specific part, from here to here, the EMA is nearly flat, and I would be ready to trade in both directions, and I would take this specific trade, for example. So once you know which direction you go, you wait for the price to be outside of the envelope, like here, here, and the last element you need to wait is to touch a pivot point. So in this specific case, right here, you have the pivot point, yellow line. In this specific case, you have this pivot point right here, and after this specific example right here. Third rule, touching a pivot point. So same than in binary option. You can take your entry exactly when the level touch, or you can wait the candle to finish and to reject and closing very near the level and that's when you will enter. So entry, I repeat, aggressive way, when it touch the level or when it make a long week at the end of the candle. So now let's talk about the stop loss. So for this specific example, you want to place your stop loss, you have this pivot point right here. Your stop loss should be 8 pips below the level if you take uh, a buy. So my stop loss should be right here. This will be my stop loss, my red line right here. Always 8 pips above or below the level that you take. Now let's look at the target profit. So the first case is when the market is flat, like that. In this specific scenario, you will not try to get very high target profit. So you will take from 5 pips to 15 pips, depending on the candlestick. I have made already some video about trading the stop and uh, taking the best profit possible, you can check them in the Forex Beginner playlist. 
let's take for example this trade so we are in a ranging market and we enter exactly at this level our stop loss is 8 pips so it should be right here and this candle close with a very nice rejection so when you see that on the 15 minute chart you can expect the price to go significantly above so when I see that I have this red candle right here I would be tempted to exit at this level when this one goes against me or you can take also the other side of the band because when it touches the other side of the band most likely the price is likely to reject and uh, if I compute how many pips you made on this specific trade if you take the conservative you made 15 and if you take the extreme of the band you made 21 pips when you risk 8 it's already a risk reward from 1 to 2 or 2.5 which is already very good another example this one so you enter in this trade, your stop loss is here and you have one nice very big candle so you can take profit at this 25 EMA it can be a possibility also and you have a candle that goes against you but with this very big blue candle just up here, here for me the, the price is likely to go up and as you can see the price start to trend and in this specific case I can take another target here when it touch again the extreme or I can let it go and this is the second type of target that you will take and I will wait a candlestick to close at the 13 EMA or breaking the 13 EMA like what happened exactly here this very big red candle closed below the 13 EMA the yellow dotted line and when this happened uh, it can tell me that the trend is nearly finished so I, I would exit my trade and if we compute it for this specific trade we have 8 pip stop loss and uh, the first target that you can take is 14 so it's already a one re risk it's already a ra it's already a one risk and two reward this one is 23 pips so three reward reward and if you take this exit using the EMA you will make 38 pips you will make five times nearly what you put at risk so if you invest two percent of your capital you will make ten percent with one trade and it would have taken you 22 candle around five hour and a half so as I just said for money management I would advise you to take two percent of your account size maximum to summarize I repeat the rules first rule you want to go with the trend trading with the trend or if it's flat you trade both way second you wait the price to be outside the band and last one you wait the price to touch a pivot point or a hard level and you enter in an aggressive way conservative way and you take your profit from 5 pips to 50 and sometimes if the price is trending nicely you can use the 13 EMA to take your profit which can give you a lot a lot a lot of pips that's it for today don't hesitate to ask me any question on Facebook or Telegram all the links are below this video we are already at the end of the video please like this video if you liked it and comment below if you have any question feel free also to share it on your Facebook Twitter or Google Plus I wish you success with us have a nice day